Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Thanks so much for being with us. Up next in our look at the Hammer British Movie Company is a film that was a drastic departure for Hammer when it came out in 1960. Now, at that point, Hammer was widely known for making a whole string of Gothic-style horror films, which resurrected some of the great horror film regulars of the 30s and 40s, such as Frankenstein, Dracula, The Mummy, The Wolfman, and others. So imagine the surprise when, in the midst of all of that, they made this next film, which is a very serious drama which takes a sobering look at the issue of child abuse. The film is called Never Take Sweets from a Stranger. It's from 1960 and was directed by Cyril Frankel, known at the time as a very skilled director of children in movies. And this film definitely needed just that. The story concerns a family that moves from England to a small Canadian town after the husband is offered a job that's a big promotion for him. What happens then turns out to be a family's worst nightmare. One of the beloved old founders of the town turns out to make a very inappropriate advances to the couple's nine-year-old daughter and a young friend of hers. Well, the couple press charges against the elderly man, but he's so respected in the community that the case is eventually dropped, much of the couple's horror and frustration. I mean, a nightmare indeed. It's an extremely delicate subject for a film, but handled with great sensitivity and care by its director, Frankel. And it's based on a British play actually called The Pony Cart, written by Roger Garris. Well, one of the finest of all British actors, and you'll recognize him from a hundred British films, is the one who plays the tricky role of the child molester. His name is Felix Aylmer. He never utters a word in this movie, which only adds to the creepiness of his performance. So here from 1960, with a cast of really superb British actors, another TCM premiere for us tonight, Never Take Sweets from a Stranger. <laughs> 